People ask us frequently, how is weather well in the rain? It's very good in the rain. This is one of the reasons why we continue to believe that wool is the best all-around fabric for use in the outdoors. Nothing is perfect, but wool comes closer than anything else. The garments that are truly waterproof are not good when it's not raining. Wool does very well in the rain because wool doesn't like to be wet. There's a lot of information on, the out, uh, on our website, but the basic idea is that the outside of a woolen fiber does not want to be wet. It does not absorb droplets of rain or water. If you fall out of a canoe and you get out of the water in a couple of minutes, your wool isn't wet in the sense that it has absorbed water. Your wool will only be wet in the sense that your hair or your skin is wet and it will dry out quite quickly. If you are out in the rain for hours and hours, your wool will soak up water eventually, but that water will be contained on the inside of the woolen fiber. And the outside of the woolen fiber will continue to resist feeling wet. It's one of the very interesting things about wool is that the outside of the fiber is hydrophobic. The inside of the fiber does, however, absorb water vapor and in fact actually produces a small amount of heat as it slowly absorbs water vapor. Wool will keep you warm when it's wet if you're out in the rain and the wet for days. You might not be happy, but you will stay alive. Thank you. Please visit our website, weatherwool.com, or give us a call, 973-761-1776 at any time. 973-761-1776. By the way, I'm wearing right now our walker hat and our shirt jack, both in our own proprietary Lynx pattern. I can wear this hat in the rain all day long. The hat won't get wet because the rain just falls off it. The shirt jack will eventually get wet because the rain is falling sort of directly on my shoulders. It prevents a, a bigger target for perpendicular raindrops. But if I were, say, walking five miles and I was wearing a woolen base layer underneath my shirt jack, that's important, wear wool underneath your wool, I wouldn't be wet in those five miles because a couple of hours or less, a couple of hours or more even, the wool won't absorb that much water that I would feel it. I've been out in the rain from before sunup to after dark, non-stop rain, pretty much like the rain we're having now, which is a not torrential, but it's a steady, solid rain. Been out all day long, about 12 hours, wearing nothing but wool and didn't get wet. That story's on our website. And that particular day that I'm thinking of also, 35 degrees Fahrenheit, really primo temperature for for rain-induced hypothermia. Not cold enough to be, to be frozen, in which case water isn't so much of a problem when there's all ice and snow, but still cold enough, or about as cold as it can get, and be still above freezing. Perfect temperatures for, say, a cotton garment to absolutely kill you. With wool, it's just not much of a factor. Please visit weatherwool.com, 973-761. 1776. Take our stuff out in the rain and see what I mean. Seriously. I do it all the time. Thank you.